What is up everybody? Welcome back to another video here on my channel. Today is going to be episode number two of learning from the best. So I sat at home a few nights ago, rolled my thumbs and thought about the second episode. And I want to do chest. We're in Dubai. So there's only one guy that came to my mind. The king of JBR, aka Mike Thurston. So we're here at Binus today. The best gym in Dubai in my opinion. And uh, yeah, I think he's inside. So without further ado, let's go inside and find Mr. Mike. I think we got him inside. Yeah. The big man in the building. Captain Chesty, about to drop some pectoral knowledge on you. There's only one guy that comes to my mind when I think about chest in the bar. Yeah, I mean, there's, quite, there's some other people who do have a big chest. <laughs> Andrew Jack, Harry Wheels. But I'm, I'm there in third place. Yeah? One cup or two cups? One cup, two cups of what? Your trash and two workouts? <laughs> what are these balls? Protein balls. Brian! Brian! Talk to me about your balls. Brian, tell me about your balls. I used to have balls. Brian, can I taste your balls? No, I used to have balls. Can I taste them? Now it's gone. Because my balls are gone. I'm adding my life. Ha ha ha! Don't get married, guys! <laughs> Brian's balls, Brian's balls. We love Brian's balls. That's <laughs> what's going on. Salty. It's a lot of pre workout. This is pre workout, it's like a, it's like a whole meal. Mike is leading the workout today. Yeah. He's, uh... Change my mind, we're gonna do legs instead. <laughs> Definitely not happening. <laughs> I thought it was some classic, classic pressing. Toss up between dumbbell? dumbbell press or barbell press. I reckon we'll do dumbbell press. Yeah. Yeah, I prefer dumbbell. Better contract. It's not with benching. You use a lot of other muscles as well, which is good. But I feel like if I want to focus on chest, I want to get the most chest burn as possible. The most important thing is to not warm up at all and go straight into the heaviest possible set you can do. Straight in. <laughs> warm-up sets you do is going to be dependent upon what your working weight is. So if you're not lifting that heavy, you only really need to do one or two warm-up sets. If you're doing a heavy weight, like 30, 40 kilograms plus, you need to do a few more warm-up sets, but you only need to do a couple reps at a time, short rest period, get everything loosened up, perfect that line muscle. Have you ever stretched before your workout? Not so much. It's just some just like a little bit. dynamic stretching, yeah. not static, just dynamic. And I find sometimes, let's say for example, if you really struggle to keep your shoulders pinned back, this can be quite good. Pinching at the back and then relaxing. Pinch back, relax. Because when you're pressing, to some degree, you need to keep your scapula fixed in place. And if you don't know how to do that, then you're going to end up retracting too much when you press. Yeah. When I did a lot of benching, I used to do pull-ups before they get the blood in back so I can come back and get better, you know, better uh, range of motion, which is like, it works. So, yeah, I'd recommend to warm up your back as well and on chest days. Most important thing when you press, if you keep everything fixed in place, then you're on the right track. Most people make the mistake of when they press. Oh, the yeah, shoulder Yeah, the entire, forward. like, scaffold bosh, moves. Bosh. And then you just massively eliminate how much engagement you're getting across your chest. I like to work a little bit more on the upper chest because my, for me personally, like my, my lower pec is quite in development. There's quite a bit of shelf going on there. So like... Oh. <laughs> do it for another 10 seconds, might as well. <laughs> yeah, make turn it to a real or snapchat. So I'm going to do a slight incline. He actually did go straight to working set. I didn't expect that. That's still a warm up. I'm not doing 40 for this. If I did that, I snapped my fucking neck off. It's very important as well, like, so many people ego lift 
or maybe they're just used to lifting quite uh, like a heavy weight when they press. If you're not feeling the contraction and you're not seeing any chest development, it seems counterintuitive, but maybe you actually need to lower the weight a little bit and get your form perfected before you start really trying to progressively overload with more weight. I used to go like this, like like that, you know? And then I used to come up like this. What, you went way too far now? Yeah, like I used to, I used to almost like, you know, like this. And now it's more like... Usually I would go to complete failure on like the first and second set. I leave that all out set to the very last one. Ideally, when I got a spot. Definitely have like the best form for dumbbell press, incline dumbbell oh. press. No, I, I, no, I swear. So it looks animated when it goes. It's like, it's, it's one of those. Uh, I've seen those animated like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> looks like one of those, but he's using a hundred pound dumbbell. more about the brain than actually like I think it feels like a I don't know, psychological workout. One thing you need to keep in mind, I, I used to make this mistake. A lot of people when they do an incline press, they arch their back. So reality you, you try to target these fibers. Yeah. And you can only do that if they're on top. But if you arch your back like that, then these fibers end up being on top. Yeah. And you, you pretty much turn an incline press into a flat press. Yeah, that's true. So you need to get rid of the arch, like make sure your entire spine is kind of touching the pad so that you're keeping yeah. this on top. Yeah? yeah, I haven't thought about that before, yeah. to be honest. Because it, it's, it, it yeah. it's easier. No, I know what you mean though. It's easier to arch and press because yeah. you have more fibers here. Yeah. So if you're getting into a position where there's fewer fibers, it's going to be harder. So you just have to fight your body from going through the path. <laughs> Factoring like how many chest exercises you do in the session. Yeah. So if I was only doing two or three chest exercises, I might do three, four sets. But if you were doing a more chest focused session, then maybe three sets per exercise. But you're better off like picking a few select chest exercises and mastering how to execute them. Pectoral foundation was built from dumbbell pressing. Dumbbell. Used to do it in my garage all the time. movement for a machine based one. I could do barbell, I'm not feeling barbell today though, so I'm gonna use this tasty little contraption we have right here. It's definitely more of a deep fried press. Up 
shoulder for, uh, for a full year. I think I was 20, 28. Yeah, from uh, the whole year when I was 28. My left shoulder was never 100%. Was it like the rotator cuff or what? Yeah, it? I think it, it was done from uh, swinging on the rings in Santa Monica and I like twisted yeah. some. So I couldn't like lift my, my arm up. So uh, every time I pressed, I, I couldn't go 100% with it, like my strength. So it was annoying, but. Sometimes I wake up with like a shoulder injury from like sleeping where yeah. it's so annoying. My, uh, Entire AC joint toward like when I was like 12 when I was snowboarding did a backflip landed on my shoulder my shoulder like it fell out of socket yeah, yeah yeah so I was fucked for like a year and then started going to the gym at like 14 and I, I noticed my whole body was like fucking asymmetrical because of my shoulder injury then uh, a few years later it snapped again in the gym so yeah the end of the day don't snowboard or ski, or swing from rings, or do anything remotely fun. Oh. same direction as the pec fibers so it's like that not like that
Right, so, this is just my personal opinion. Like back in the day, I always used to train chest, I would just do chest. Yeah. But I don't really think that's the best way of training, particularly if you want to maximize gains, like if you're looking at the week overall. So my approach would be, if you want to get a bigger chest, like we've done now, we've done like three very good, intense exercises. Possibly do one more, but you're better off leaving it at that because we're both feeling like our yeah, chest I just is, felt is like, destroyed. Yeah. Like we don't really have that much more strength left in it. So you're better off doing like, let's say for example now, do another muscle group, yeah. work on that, and then a couple of days later, maybe on the third or fourth day, hit chest again with another two to three really good exercises. And if you look at the amount of working sets you've done over the week, it's a lot more overall than say for example, if you were to just do them all in like one session. And you, you, know, you think when you're doing like the other working sets later on in the week, you start to fresh again when you've got all that strength. But right now we don't really have a huge amount of strength. So I would usually combine chest training with another muscle group. It doesn't matter what it is. Do back if you wanted to. Do shoulders, do triceps. I don't know. We push days are normal. Yeah. It's a very, it's a very popular thing to do. Like push pull legs. Very good split for that. And I think, I think if you are like a really advanced trainer and you're really trying to just like get a stupidly big chest, then you could probably do like just pure annihilation yeah. of the chest. But for most people who are looking to just get a good aesthetic physique, you don't need to do a crazy amount of volume. You, you go past the point where you get optimal gains, you go get diminishing returns from doing more sets. Because most people now, if they try to do any heavy pressing, the form would just be terrible because the chest is fatigued, so the shoulders and triceps would do all the work. Yeah, I feel if I, if I did another really intense exercise now, I'd walk in like this, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I feel like just tear down. We'll do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the chest recover I've seen a little the, bit. I've seen do when you're done with two cables like yeah. that. Yeah. That was really good, I've never done that before. And then some triceps now, finish up with some triceps. Do you want to do one or two exercises? I say two, yeah? Three exercises. So we need to do three tricep exercises, so we'll do two tricep exercises and then go back to chest again. It just looks like a natural movement, you know? And I've never done it before. I usually like to train oh, for no? an hour, 52. Oh, that, yeah. It's like perfect, really. Um, the dip machine is quite good, because it's a little bit of chest. The one over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the dip machine. And then... Um, also with the dip machine, you can like pretty much decide what you want to do. Yeah, triceps yeah. or chest. Feel forward, chest. Feel backwards, triceps. Stop, 15. No, no, keep going. Pitch the cam. I'm an absolute unit all the I'm an absolute tank. Yeah, yeah. I'm having Yeah, yeah, yeah. Body straight. 
Come on. Oh, you can't quit now. Uh, Find these hip presses. Right. Do the one you need. I'm a hugger. It's so awkward. What's up? What's up? Rodolfo in the building. How's your feeling? Oh my god. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Woo I love doing that. They see if some of us are like cool there right now. The last wait and he's like, <laughs> not fun. In a few months, I'm gonna be like fucking big and cannot do that. Not fun. <laughs> Down to how you like yeah, how you ex the exercise and intensity and execution. If you do yeah. it right, you don't need to do any more after three exercises. One hour, ten minutes. One hour, ten minutes. You, can you see like your BPM and stuff? Yeah, it will, it will give you my performance. <laughs> By the heart rate, so this oh, has no okay. idea like what weight I was And then the Apple Watch is very like over yeah, over yeah. So I just found this guy in the reception, right? He was supposed to know. 21 year old man. But you look oh. huge as well in real life. I'm trying bro. No, but you're a fucking man, so you're gonna be killing it as well. Thank you. That's like, it's, it's fucking stage life as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a stage. Do you want more? Yeah. yeah, right. No, if I do it, I'll do classic probably. Anyway. Finish up with the workout. It's a good workout. It's a good one. Chest is destroyed. Yeah, I feel, I feel my tits are absolutely demolished right now. Anyway, uh, so obviously, probably know about Mike, but uh, put it to YouTube, Instagram, he does TikTok now as well. So if you're a TikToker, you should check him out. Uh, Just fucking do Snapchat too. Yeah, you get on Snapchat. Let me know if you're from the Snap from the Snapchat family because you guys are fucking mad and you. Support you when we go down there. So thank you for that. Anyway, finish up this video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what kind of video with anyone from here from Dubai. Early I have some sick people uh, that I'm gonna feature on the channel soon, which you guys will see about. Uh, it's just so weird because I just <laughs> I can't stop <laughs> watching in the mirror like fucking posing, keeping a straight face. Anyway, <laughs> you know. Anyway, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And as always, it's been Oliver and I'm out.